week started by telling you some things that are really important to me. We call it Faye, what's on my mind? Transgender Day of Remembrance is on my mind. T-Door is on my mind. You know, I know that it was a few weeks ago, but we were on vacation, so I had to acknowledge this powerful and very important observance, honestly. So as 2023 comes to a close, leaving behind a significant wave of transphobia, homophobia, and so on, we have to look ahead to what, we, what will hopefully be a better year for our people and ask how we cis people can be better allies to trans and non-binary people in 2024. You know, so I want to tell you how to be a better ally in 2024. Start off by checking in with trans people, okay? My girls over at Trans Inclusive, they say that trans people are often struggling due to issues like transphobia, misgendering, or negative attention. So if you have a trans or non-binary person in your life, check in on them. Make sure that their mental health is okay and that they're not feeling isolated. Get it correct. You know, get it correct that you're not there to save them, okay? Understand that. But it's never wrong to see how someone is doing, right? Um, next, another way is to challenge everyday transphobia. Allies should use their voices to change and challenge everyday transphobia, like misgendering or using dead names, and engage people in conversations that might change their opinions or their views or might open up their eyes to trans people's viewpoints. Try not to be aggressive and assess the situation because it may not be safe either. If you witness a, vi a violent hate crime or in an emergency, you always call 911. But use your voice, okay? It, it, you have no idea how important that might be. Next, respect pronouns. If you want to be a good ally, respecting people's pronouns is a necessity. I mean, it is just the most basic thing that you can do for someone. This doesn't mean getting it perfect off the bat or getting it right all the time, but making the effort to learn and respect people's pronouns is key. And it's just that. It's respect. Your mama raised you better, right? So if you mess up, just say sorry and choose to move on. You could also get into the habit of sharing your own pronouns so people feel safe sharing theirs with you, right? Hi, I'm Faye what? She, her, hers are my pronouns. What are yours? I have never met somebody till this day that has said, don't you know? You know, just ask. Um, another way that you can be a great ally is to support and donate. If you have the means to do so, volunteering or supporting trans charities or a person's individual transition fundraiser can be a great way to help the community assess the resources that they need and, you know, use it to their benefit. According to the Human Rights Campaign, almost three in 10 trans adults live in poverty. Three in 10. So sharing resources, if you can, is a great way to help the community. You know, next, be actively and visibly supportive. Allies could support trans people on social media, they could share articles, they could talk about trans people, and generally make people know that you're a trans ally through and through. If you answer questions about trans people as an ally, it can take the heat and emotional labor off trans people to do the same thing. You know, you might be, fight you might be fighting or being in a place where a trans person might not be welcomed, okay? By the way, if you're a young trans person looking for support or an ally looking to support a trans person close to you, there are so many organizations like Trans Social, Trans Inclusive, and SunServe, the McKenzie Project, that are always there with information and resources. Always. Look them up. Send them a messenger, a message. Trust me, they will get back to you. And always remember that no one is safe until trans folks are safe. That's it. All right? Be a good ally. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.